Good morning. I would like to welcome you here and ask that you please take a moment to sign the pew pads at the end of each pew so we can have a re record of your announcement this morning. The flowers are given to the glory of God and in honor of the children of Oak Grove United Methodist Church. Mm. We're not done. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the MES Circle invites you to join us in the parlor this afternoon, 2.30 to 4, for a bridal shower honoring Lauren Lom, bride-elect of Reagan Grant. All senior adults are invited to join the Good Timers on Monday, o October 15th. Sorry. All men are invited to the men's club tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in the family. All senior adults are invited to join the Good Timers on Monday, October 15th. They will be visiting the Meteor Homestead for a delicious Bingen lunch, fo followed by a tour of Homestead by Mrs. Dean. Check your bulletin for more details. The MES Circle and an annual coat drive is now underway, please bring any gently worn coats to the FLC. It's time to get ready for trunk or treat. Please sign up with Miss Casey to participate. The more trunks we have, the more fun it will be. If you're unable to do a trunk, then please consider donating candy. All help is greatly appreciated. The food pantry item for this week is mac and cheese and ravioli. And last but not least, the blood drive is going on this morning. If you have not given blood yet, please stop by and do so as you leave the church. There is always a need for more blood. Please check your bulletin for other announcements and activities for this week. And last but oh wait, let's begin our worship by loving Christian. Christ. Thir I mean Christ. <laughs> Please stand and join us in singing praises to our Lord. We will begin with, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. So glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show. you kids. Boy, it's wonderful this morning that our kids are leading in this worship, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be quiet a little bit and, and so you can hear them. I maybe covered them up a little bit. Uh, as we change, yeah, we, we got new worship leaders coming up to the front now, and uh, we're going to sing, I've Got Peace Like a River. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've 
So we're going to continue with our awesome kids as they lead us in This Is My Commandment and a major microphone change there. Yeah. <laughs> How awesome is this? Okay. Here we go. Ready? This is my commandment that you love one This is my, my commandment. I haven't smiled this much in a month, I promise you. <laughs> Please look in your bulletin and find the prey. Please remain standing and join me saying the Apostles Creed. I believe in God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, only Son and Lord, who believed by his Holy Spirit, born and Greet your neighbor in love.
you have made is beautiful. Oh my God, I can't believe my eyes. But if I'm on this, I think that you would think of me. Makes my heart come alive. Your love is like a mighty fire deep inside my bones. I feel like I Somebody cares for me. I love the Maker, and the Maker loves me. I 
I never have to wonder if somebody cares for me. I love the maker, and the maker loves me. And the maker loves me. And the maker loves me. Please look in your bulletin and find the prayer list. Let's remember, are there any additional prayer concerns this morning? Please bow your head in prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the master of life and death. Everything we have is yours, and we love you. Just one touch from you restores the sick, heals the broken, and transforms the darkness. So I ask that you would be with, with, with those mentioned here today and listed in our bulletin. May they sense your presence, may they feel your power, and may they know your love. We ask for your healing as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now will the big children come down for the children's message. It's a good kid cereal. It's healthy, but Rice Krispies are really small. Too small for a toddler to get a grip on and put it in his mouth. What about Raisin Bran? It's larger than Rice Krispies, but Raisin Brans might be a problem for a baby learning to chew and swallow. What about Cheerios? It's a nice size, it's healthy, and no problem bits for babies. In fact, I can't think of a better match than Cheerios for toddlers. Cheerios aren't just for babies, of course. Kids eat them, teenagers, young adults, even older adults. Cheerios are a food that stick with you your whole life. God sent Jesus to be the savior of the whole world. Jesus died for everyone, young and old. Cheerios may save your heart, but Jesus can do more. He can forgive your sins and give you eternal life. The good news of Jesus is for everyone, your family, your friends, your neighbors, the whole world. Let's thank God for sending Jesus, and let's remember to share that good news with others. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to save us from our sins. Help us to remember that he is always with us, and we should share that good news with others. Amen. Will the ushers please come forward? Let us pray. Lord, we are glad to be here in your presence. In thankfulness, we bring you our gifts. We ask that you will accept them and use them in your work. Take us and use us too, so that many more may have the chance to know you and to be joyful in your house. Amen.
There's revival and it's spreading like a wildfire in my heart. Sunday morning, hallelujah, and it's lasting all week long. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? It's the rhythm of a gospel song. Oh, once you choose it, you can lose it. Cause there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. I've got an old church choir sing in my soul. I've got a sweet salvation and it's beautiful. I've got a heart overflowing cause I've been restored. There ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. No, there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy when the valleys that I wander turn to mountains that I can't climb oh you are with me you never leave me cause there ain't nothing there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy I've got an old church choir sing in my soul I've got a sweet salvation and it's beautiful I've got a heart overflowing cause I've been Restored. There ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. No, there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. Clap your hands and stomp your feet till you find the gospel because it's all you ever need. All you ever need. Clap your hands. Singing in my soul, got sweet salvation, and it's beautiful. I've got an old church choir singing in my soul. I've got a sweet salvation, and it's beautiful. I've got a heart overflowing, cause I've been restored. There ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. No, there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. The scripture reading for today is Luke chapter 18, verse 15. People were also bringing babies to Jesus to have him touch them. When, when the disciples saw this, they rebuked them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for innocence. Thank you for children. Thank you that... We can be like children in your presence because you love us and care for us. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Um, have you enjoyed the service so far? Yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you what a wise uh, person told me one time. I don't know if they were old or not, but... Um, a wise person told me one time, children are not the future of the church. Children are the church. That we have a responsibility as Christians to guide our children and lead them to eternal life. To provide for them the necessary tools to be Christian in a non-Christian society. To set an example to set an example for the world of what it's like to be a Christian, to love one another, to care for one another. I'm, I'm going to brag a little bit. My granddaughter, Emma, she's coming up this afternoon, but um, 
they were telling us in daycare that when somebody got upset, Emma would go and take them a toy and try to comfort them. I, I love that. I think that's great. Childlike innocence. If you will re remember, Jesus said, you have to be like one of these children to get into the kingdom of heaven. The, the, the place was crowded, and there were a lot of people trying to get to see Jesus. And the disciples tried to keep them from coming. They, they were trying to stop them and send them away. Now, in Jesus' times, children, uh, mortality was uh, over 30%. So in other words, over three children out of ten died in their infancy. It was terrible, terrible turnover. And so people would take their children to the rabbi to be blessed. And so they had heard about Jesus' miracles, so they took them for Jesus to bless them. And the disciples tried to turn them away. And Jesus said, no, don't do that. Let the children come to me. For they are the kingdom of heaven. You have to be like a child to come into the kingdom of heaven. Now, look at what it says very carefully. Okay? Look at, look at what it says very carefully. It says to be like a child. Got that? Like a child, not childish. <laughs> There's a big difference. Don't be childish. To be childlike means to, be, to live in a world of awe and wonder. To see the expressions. Have you ever seen the expressions on your children or grandchildren's face that, that they have discovered something new and it's just, it's just they, they, like butterflies? They see a butterfly flying and they just, their face lights up and they, oh, what is this? They're in such awe as Christians. We are called to live like that, to be people who are awed by the marvelous works of our God, the creator of everything. We are loved by that God. Children are loving and caring. By nature, you just about have to really be bad to get a child not to be a good person, not to be childlike and innocent for a while. We live in a world where children can't speak for themselves. Uh, when I was in Aberdeen, Joe Roten was one of my church members. Joe uh, was had a law practice in Natchez, and Joe was a member of the state legislature, and he personally wrote a lot of the um, laws dealing with children's abuse and uh, mishandling. He wrote most of those laws um, in the legislature, had them introduced, and of course most of them passed, and it was an honor to be the pastor of someone who spoke for those who couldn't speak for themselves. To protect those who could not protect themselves. To love those who were in situations where they were not loved. Christ has called us to be like children. To love one another to care for one another, to go to those outside our circle and bring them in. It's kind of like playing duck, duck, goose. You bring people into the circle. You bring people into the circle and it, it, it just enlarges. And there's room for everyone in our childlike innocence. There is room for all Room for all. If you've ever seen a child play with a puppy, you know what I'm talking about. They're just thrilled to be able to see that little puppy and get licked in the face and 
and all of those good things that happen to expressions on their face were called to be like children. Um, now this is not the first time the disciples had tried to turn people away. Do you remember the feeding of the 5,000? The feeding of the 5,000, they went to Jesus and said, look, you need to send these people away because we don't have enough food and it's getting late and they need to eat. Jesus said, I love this, Jesus said, you feed them. You feed them. And I imagine the disciples looked at each other and went, huh? You feed them. And Andrew says, Lord, all we've got are five little loaves of bread and two little fish. And Jesus said, have them sit down. Have the crowd sit down. And he began to, he prayed, and he began to break the bread, and he began to uh, break the fishes. And there was sufficient to feed 5,000 men. Now you think about that. 5,000 men, probably at, at least another 5,000 women, and no telling how many children were there. And Jesus said to the disciples, when they had nothing to eat, you feed them. God calls us today to feed those children who are hungry for the Word of God. They, they are open to the Word of God, to hear the Word of God in their life, to obey to be the children of God that He has called us to be. Little children have faith and trust. They depend on God. They depend on God. They they trust and they have faith in each other. They trust and have faith in God. They love one another as Christ loved them. Jesus said, be childlike, not childish. Sometimes, my, my, my daughter's not here to defend herself, so I can say this. Um, my little daughter um, was, is redheaded, as you know, and she's half Irish, so, you know, that tells you something about her temper. And, uh, uh, see, I'm, uh, my, my family is mostly German, and so, like I said, my grandfather taught me to cuss in German when I was about six, seven years old. My grandmother was so embarrassed, of course, she didn't understand what we were saying half the time, so that was all right. But that's not good. That, that's not a good thing. But, but I learned from my grandfather a lot of good things, to love each other and care for each other. People would come to him. People would come to him, and, and he would loan them money. Um, he, would, he would help them in any way that he could. He took a... He took a child who had dropped out of school because his family needed money. They were, they were by themselves and destitute. And he took this 15-year-old child and he taught him how to be a plumber. He was protecting the innocent. He taught him how to be a plumber and, and he grew up. And when he was about 25, 26 years old, he applied for a job in Jackson. Now, one of the big buildings down, downtown, in, in the, one of the big Lamar Life building, you know what I'm talking about? The big Lamar Life building. He was the head of maintenance for the, for the uh, Lamar Life building. What a great job. What a great witness to what it means to train a child in the way that that child should go to open our hearts to children for loving them and caring for them and in turn, them loving us and caring for us. Christ's love is for all of us and Christ wants us to love each other as He loves us. To be like a child, to be innocent, caring, to be fulfilled by the Holy Spirit in our lives, to stand as beacons to help those who are not helpful. My, my, I was talking about my grandfather and, and being German. Um, my, my temper is very, 
I, I don't get mad that often, but when I do, I explode. And then it's over with. I'm through. My wife is Irish. Harrington's in Havens. She's Irish. She got an Irish temper. And that means she can cut those eyes to you and you know, uh uh-oh, I'm in trouble now. My daughter says my my wife is like North Vietnam. It just kind of sneaks up on you and it stays there forever. Yeah. When my daughter was two, uh, she had that red hair and she was pitching a fit. Uh, on the floor, and she was really good at it. I mean, let me tell you, she was really... And we just get to where we ignored it. You know, we just let her, let her cry. So one day I got, I got tired of it. And a friend of mine had said, our daughter was like that, and, and we went and, and had a psychiatrist in our church, and we talked to the psychiatrist about her throwing fits. She says, next time she throws a fit, take a glass of water and throw it in her face. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Now, clean this up. That stopped it, at least for a little while. (laughs) She still got that temper. Children are wonderful examples of what it means to love one another, to play together in harmony. Now, there are times when somebody's got a toy that we want, But to be childish is to try to take that toy away. Paul tells us, in the church we should care for each other and love each other. Be gracious to one another. Be kind and caring, not just for one another, but for the whole world. To be loving and caring and hopeful and faithful and trusting in God. To be our Father in heaven. Be like a little child and come to Christ as little children. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, give us childlike faith to know you and love you, to love each other as, each other as you love us. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Please stand as we sing, Jesus Loves Me, page 191 in your hymnal. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, little ones to and communion of the Holy Spirit, the gracious love of God be with us all until we meet again. Amen. You did good, buddy. She can say it. She was supposed to say it. She can say it now. No, they're still waiting. Please bow your heads for the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Good job.